Hi, I'm Van Wallach, and this piece is called A Journal of the Plague Year as Recorded in Five-Minute Segments. I'm recording this on Friday, this day before the start of the Jewish observance of Passover. The fact that Passover is about to start at the same time as we observe the one-year anniversary of the library's open mic newsletter series cannot be a coincidence, because both of them are intimately connected with plagues. Uh, there were the ten plagues that preceded the exodus from Egypt into the long haul to the Promised Land. And then there's the coronavirus plague that uh, closed down our society and led the library to start its weekly open mic newsletter, so supplementing the uh, monthly live open mic program. So I'm always going to think of the two of them together. Uh, both of them involve leaving the confines of a, a certain situation into the shock of freedom uh, and self-discovery. Um, I had been doing open mics before this one, uh, before the series began, but those were at most twice a month with the library and then the Hudson, uh, Hudson Valley Writers Center monthly open mics. But when everything closed down, the library changed things, and I faced the kind of daunting opportunity to start really trying to explore this medium, this creative outlet. And so I always think back on the first one I did in April of last year that I recorded in front of the uh, Katona Barbershop that I'd gone to for years. Uh, I did that as a uh, kind of unmasking in a way that I shaved my beard off for the first time in 20 years. And I was standing in front of the, uh, the closed uh, barbershop and, and talking about that experience. Uh, other open mics involve standing in front of the closed a library book drop, uh, going to the Katona train station and talking about my 20 plus years of commuting experience and week after week, I kept finding something I wanted to talk about. It was as much a surprise to me as it maybe was for people listening. Uh, a lot of it was very serious about fears during the pandemic, anxieties about shopping, about risk tolerance, about burial plans, if it came to that. Um, other times, though, I tried to find uh, the humorous side of, of the pandemic, if you want to call that call it that as a survival mechanism, about the variety of masks I like wearing, about the, um, what I call the vault of manly fashion down in our basement, where I have all the suits and ties that I no longer wear. And I also did pieces from on the road. Uh, while there is a quarantine going on, uh, Naomi and I were able to get out of the house a couple of times over the summer, and I always like doing open mics from places like New Hope, Pennsylvania, Cold Spring, New York, Great Barrington, Massachusetts, a wedding in the Catskills in June. Uh, these gave kind of my observations of what was going on at that very moment. Sometimes I felt really good about things. Other times, like in Great Barrington, I was very dismayed by how downtown business districts had been flattened by the pandemic. But then I also used the open mics to explore things not related to the pandemic. Um, a lot of these had to do with memories. Uh, growing up in Texas, favorite TV episodes, like my favorite Star Trek episode, uh, the connection between Miami Vice and 24, music and books I wanted to listen to again, my thoughts about rereading Tom Sawyer as a kind of a harbinger of, of the passage from boyhood to manhood. I had just <clears throat> ideas that just kept coming, so that was a, a great relief. Um, lately, what I've been doing is chaining together ideas on a topic. I did something on conspiracy theories, and I had an offhand mention of the Shroud of Turin. A friend of mine took a little umbrage at that mention, and so she had a good point. So I did some research, and I did an entire episode about the Shroud of Turin and its meaning. Lately, I did 
a whole series on cameras, my obsession with finding a used camera on the um, Shop Goodwill site. So now I'm looking forward to more creativity um, besides doing the library in Hudson Valley. I'm also uh, looking forward to maybe doing open mics at uh, Lucy's Laugh Lounge in Pleasantville, New York. Just before the pandemic started, I did two open mic gigs and I enjoyed them. And that's a place where I would be trying out material that I probably wouldn't be doing for the library. You're not going to be seeing that on YouTube unless I do like a family rated version of it. So with the library opening, with the pandemic changing because of the vaccines that are coming along, there's a lot of creativity going on. I want to thank the library for this incredible opportunity. We're passing from from some kind of plague, slavery into an uncertain kind of freedom. I hope the plague ends soon. And I just hope that the creativity that I've stumbled upon in the um, during the past incredible year continues. So that's it. Thank you.